So the next step is to run random forest model. Let's open our HAR. The first step is to set our working directory. Depending on where you, your, you, where the path you set. So this is the path for my home, the working directory where I have all my data. So I run that. The next thing will be to, I will also set the required directory. I've also set in my output folder directory as well. So then we load our libraries. In case you don't have the required library, you could go to tools, install the package first. Uh, for instance, let's say we don't have, you install the directory you need. Let's say we don't have the directory, one of the packages, for instance, caret, which we have already. Then we install. Since I already have it, I don't need to do that. So, so I don't need to do any of that. I just load my libraries. So we will load all the libraries we're going to use all at once. After that, we import our data. For us, we are now going to import the CSV file we created in, uh, in QGIS previously. After loading the data, you could just, let's have a look at our data. So to do that, we can Just to have a look at our data. So here's our data. We can also see the observations as well as the number of variables that we have. So the next thing for us will be to split our data into training and test data. So we use the train data to train our model. And then we will use the ref data, uh, like the test data, to validate our model. So we split our data using the grid code into 75, 25%. So let us run it all at once. Here you can already see the, the division. The train data have 750 observations while the reference data has 250 observations. So now the next thing will be to run our random forest model with all our covariates. So let's have a look at what we have in the equation. So the factor, that's the grid code, we are telling the computer that our factor, our grid code is a factor. So that means we are doing a classification rather than a regression. And then this here are our covariates and the data type. Then we have a number of trees, we are saying 500. And for each tree, we are expecting to have, we expect to have 10 of the covariates. Then we also ask it to compute the important value as well. So let us run.
after we've done that it's completed let's print and see what our model looks like so basically what he's telling us here is that our classification is about 91 percent um sure that we at least with 90 that we are 91 percent sure of the classification that is done another thing we can look at is because there are quite a lot of information in the model in, in in our results so we can use the attributes just to get all the information that we have in the model so let us run so this tells us that we can we can get all this information from our model so for example let's say we want to see the confusion matrix so we can click on this and it gives us the confusion matrix we can also look at the um, the important value as well So this is our uh, uh, covariates in uh, how important they are in our classification for each classification. So let us plot. We can also plot this um, covariate just to see. So here is a plot of our variable of importance bits or their importance in the classification. Interesting thing we can see is that digital elevation model, DEM, um, distance to public schools, distance to public water were important classify were important covariates in our classification of whether a particular community is a, a particular of pixel is a slum or not.